Hello everyone. This is my Arians ST724 snowblower. It has the Tecumseh SK70 motor, 7 horsepower. I've been having a problem with it uh, shutting down when it's hot. Uh, there's a number of things that can cause this and uh, I'll go over a few of them with you. Um, after visiting the various forums on the internet, the, the most common thing they talk about is the gas cap. Um, if you look inside the gas cap, you can see there's a silver uh, disc in there. If that gets dislodged, the tank won't vent and build up a vacuum and the fuel can't come out. Uh, in this case, it wasn't my problem. Uh, I replaced the gas cap and uh, I still am having the difficulty. Um, the other thing you see on the internet that I'm talking about is the coil. Uh, they claim when the coil gets older and it gets hot, it'll uh, stop working. Um, this was not my problem. I checked the spark to the spark plug when the engine was stone cold and then I checked it after it shut down and uh, the spark was great. The other thing they talk about is possibly a problem with the valves losing the seal when they get hot. Uh, then again, I checked the compression when the engine was cold. I checked the compression when the engine was hot. It was exactly the same. Um, previously, uh, last year, I had replaced the carburetor, so I knew it was not the carburetor. I added that plastic, uh, I don't know if you can see it, uh, that plastic uh, fuel filter right there. Um, that helped me discover what the problem was. Um, one day when it was about to shut down, I noticed bubbles appearing in that uh, plastic fuel filter and then a few seconds later the motor shut off so I realized it was uh, vapor lock was causing the problem. Uh, because it's an older motor I've been running at a little higher RPM than evidently what's called for. I adjusted the screw up after I put the carburetor on and the fuel line runs from the gas tank behind this cover right next to the hot cylinder head. So I think what was happening is the, uh, the fuel line was routed correctly, but I think because the engine's running hotter than normal, it was vaporizing the fuel. So what I did was I, uh, if you can, how well you can see this, but I, uh, let me turn it so it's in the sun. I added a, um, I, I changed the fuel line so it runs around the outside of the motor, around the cover. And that solved my problem. The engine seems to run fine now. I had it on for nearly an hour and it didn't shut down. So um, if you're having the same trouble, which uh, according to the forums I'm reading on the internet, a lot of you are having, um, try checking your cap, your spark, your compression. If all that fails, then uh, chances are it's a uh, vapor lock situation. You may be running the motor at a higher RPM than what it's designed to do. So try running your fuel line around the outside of the motor. It may solve your problem. All right, that's all I've got. Good luck.